Hey guys, on today's how to, I'm going to be showing you how to install the front and rear sway bars on a 2004 STI. To start off, you got to take your end links off, and I do have a video for that. Be sure to check it out. Alright, so we're going to start with the rear, and then on the passenger side, you just you got one nut here and then one bolt that's actually tucked away back here. So it's best to take this box off. You got one bolt right up here, and then you got two towards the rear. Just take it off and drop it down a little bit, and then you'll have plenty of, plenty of room for this bolt. And then on the other side, same thing. It's just one nut and one bolt, and luckily there's nothing in front of it. So take that off, and then your sway bar will actually come right down, and you just got to move it over your exhaust. So now we're going to get started installing the rear sway bar. Now the very outside hole, according to IBOG, uh, you'll reduce oversteer using rain or slick roads, and it increases comfort. Um, I don't have a problem with oversteer, so yeah. The second hole, or the one closest to the inside, uh, will reduce understeer, which is what we do want. So we're going to install it there. Um, I guess it will be a more bumpier ride, but again, with my coilovers and the way I treat this car, it doesn't matter. So we're going to start with that one and see what it does. You will be using the old metal brackets, but they'll supply you with new bushings and lube. Just lube the inside where the bar connects onto the bushing. All right, so underneath here, I got everything snugged up. Got all these bolts and then the ones that actually attach to the end links. Uh, just snug them up, don't tighten them. You want to tighten everything when there's weight on the car. All right, so next up is the front sway bar. In order to do this, you have to remove the subframe. Now the subframe doesn't have anything load bearing on it, so it's really easy to take down. So you just got two 12 millimeter bolts up front, and then 17, 17, 17, and then all the way back here, you got two 14 millimeter bolts. So go ahead and drop all those down on both sides, and then the subframe will come out. Yeah, so front subframe, not weight bearing at all, which on my eyes means weight reduction. No, just kidding. So what I did to take this off, I left uh, this bolt in and this bolt in, took the rest of them out, and then just got under there, had one knee hold one side, and then with my arm held the other and took those two out. It's actually really, really light. And then to take the sway bar off, you just got the same two bolts on each side, one's a nut, one's a bolt, and then the sway bar will come out. All right, so the sway bar is in. One thing I forgot to mention, you gotta take a tire off to be able to pull the sway bar all the way out. You can either do that or take this piece off, and I ended up taking this piece off because I'm too lazy to take the tire off. Anyway, so with the end links, remember how I said when you install them, if you watch that video, you got spacers in there. Well, I, I took out one of the spacers on the lower end. So we'll, we'll see how that evens out when you put it back on the ground. But yeah, put it back on the ground and then tighten everything up and then check your fittings of your end links. You should be good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to put your uh, weight reduction piece back on. And then, that's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe.